Hey, so I'm going to show you a couple of options for splicing new lights such as these um, into an existing uh, landscape lighting system. So I have here on my table a transformer representing your transformer and your yarn. I have some cables that are representative of cables running through your yarn. So now you just purchase these wonderful string lights from EDH Lighting. By the way, we haven't reduced, uh, uh, released these yet. These are uh, still being prototyped and tested for longevity. Um, so these lights are actually 12 volts. So they will go on to, into your yard as easily as the spotlights or LED lights that you already have in there. But you'll go in easily just for Christmas. So you don't have to run a bunch of cables around. So a little bit more information about that later. So back to it. So you got some lights. You want to hook it up to your existing system. So let's go through the options. So your traditional option uh, is wire nuts. It's probably the most cost effective option, but it takes you a little bit longer. So if you're handy, it's no biggie. Okay. Um, so you, you got that. And then you got this one, uh, which is actually pretty simple. And I've showcased this a little bit. Um, and I'll put links for all these on, on Am uh, to Amazon, uh, as well as these two yellow ones here. So I'll show them each uh in turn and um show you how it works so this one they all work off of a pin system so there's there are these pins in there um don't know if you can see it but you can see the pin uh that are in there so the idea is to get this two guys clamping into the wire right and you place the wire here you push these two pins together and it's going to puncture the uh insulation so that's a demo so let's go so you have here right and um, I would say these guys are meant more for 12 gauge, I mean, uh, 14 gauge. Uh, I have here 12 gauge. It'll still work. It, you see, it's, it's a little bit tight, but it'll still work. So you place one half like that, and you would just hook up the grooves on here, and you would just click these guys together, okay? Uh, it's going to take a little bit of power because the insulation is so tight. You're going to take a little bit. A power. You can use pair pliers or something like that if you want um, to click them. So now they all click together. Um, so, and that's it. Really, it just takes you two minutes to hook it up. Um, and you hook up the, your new lights to the tail end. So I'm just going to borrow these wiring nuts in here. Um, so that's it, right? Um, New lights, existing cable, existing cable, new lights, right? And so let's just turn it on and make sure it works. And it works, okay? Um, so that's that system. It's, it's relatively easy. Uh, what tends to happen uh, over time is these, these clips get corroded. Uh, I've had mine in the yard for about, I'd say five years now. They, they worked okay, but I've had people talk about these getting corroded. Um, either corroded or they will damage as you're pushing down on it uh, and then they fail on you okay um, to me it, it haven't been a problem honestly um, so these are still great um, so then let's look at these guys okay these two types um, this type is kind of interesting right so again it's working off of the pin system uh, so there's a pin here can you see this okay pin and you will place the wire in this groove and you will screw this together okay and the other part of the new light system will go in here uh, on the top so let's just try one so this will take a little bit more work okay so obviously you you need a pair of these guys to, to one for each of the, the wires so we would carefully slice this um, so you split the wires a little bit so let's just carefully splice it and not cut into the insulation. So, and these guys are tough, right? At, at 12 gauge, um, you just pull them apart. That's really horrible, these guys. myself a little bit more room so I can use these later so uh, again pretty simple you would go put this guy in here 
Okay, again, we got an issue here with kind of, that's a little bit too big, okay, uh, to place in here. But because again, these things are made generally for 14 gauge cable. And of course, I picked the more difficult one just to show you. So you can kind of clamp down on the insulation and it'll, and it'll clamp down on it. You can see that it's thin, eh, you can't see it, but it you thin it out by, by clamping down on it. And now we kind of slice in pretty easily. Okay, um, then you will take this half and screw it on. It doesn't take a lot of power on this one because it's a screw cap. Um, so you'll screw it on. Lopsided. And you can see that the, maybe the pin coming down on it. I'm sure you can see, but as you squeeze this guy in, the pin comes down on it like that. And then let's just quickly do the other side. Okay, and then you will unscrew this side, the top, and thread the wire into here like so and just put it back okay. okay get tight um, so when they're done they look like this So the screws all tightened in, very sturdy. You turn it on, and boom, it's lid. So fairly easy system to to use actually. Um, so let me disconnect this to reduce a little bit of clutter. And the last one I'm going to show you is this one. These are cheap actually, very um, cost effective from that perspective. So in in how expensive is it? I think this one was the most expensive than this one. You can see how easy this one was, right? No splicing. You don't want to cut anything open. You just clamp it like that. It's, it's very easy. Um, and then these are the cheapest, okay? Uh, again, you do have to open these things up um, and and slide the one. There are actually multiple versions of this. There's the blue ones and the brown ones. Uh, so you have to get the correct one for the gauge wire that you're using. So of course, I have ones that are about the wrong gauge. <laughs> um, because the insulation is so thick, it's actually very difficult to slide these things into. It'll work. Um, so the way it works is uh, there are two, I don't know if you can see this, let's see. There are two holes here, right? One is for the cable, this one that goes all the way through. And then for the light, that's the one on the inside and it will go in just halfway. So I'm not sure you can see a stop here, but you'll get the idea. So you would slide one side in. Slide this side in. So now it's snapped in, it kind of snaps in. Um, and then you would take this wire, uh, one of them, and just stick it in, hold it. Okay, and then you, you, you clamp this guy down uh, with a pair of pliers. There's no way you can do it with your hands, okay? So make sure you have a pair of pliers available. You clamp it. It cuts through the insulation like this. I'm not sure you can see it. You can see a little bit of it. Um, okay. And once you do that, you just close it. And it snaps together. I mean, it's a nice packaging, okay? Um, and then, and it looks very sturdy, okay? And then we'll just do the other one. Okay. And so it's pretty, it's pretty painless. Um, let's see. Actually, you should be aware that there are actually, you know, a lot of knockoffs from China. Um, so I would get the one from 3M. Um, and I'll put a link to that, obviously. but. Um, and then that's it. So it looks like a very nice package like this. Um, and the wires hang off of the here. Okay. And then this guy can continue like this. So turn it on. Of course it 
So of course it didn't work. Um, so as I'm looking into here, what it's looking like is even though the Y is actually tugged in there and it's clamped down, this Y is actually too thin. Okay, it's too thin for the wire gauge that this this uh, yellow connector was meant for. So it's not splicing through. It, it you can I can see that it's holding it down, but it's not. It's too thin, so it didn't cut through the insulation. Um, so again, I kind of want to caution you that when you're buying these guy, this guy in particular, uh, the way the clamps are done. Let me see if I can get a different one for you. Um, the one, okay, I got one that's open up here. You see the way the clamps are? Um, let me see if I can see show you like this. You see those notches in there? And it's it's fairly wide, okay? Um, let me see, maybe like this. It's fairly wide. So they're meant for 12 gauge wires. So I think this one was like 12 to 14 for stranded and 10 for solid wires. But anyway, um, this gap here, was actually just enough to hang on to this wire, this this, this thinner wire from the light, but it was not uh, the 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 gap was too wide to be able to cut through and actually clamp under this wire. So this one is more like a 16 gauge wire. Um, so didn't work. Um, so I apologize for that. But those are your options, you know. If you had uh, other lights that were using a cable maybe like this, it probably would have worked okay. Um, yeah, so this, if I could see, yeah, so if you're using like a, a thicker cable, it would have been fine. But if you're trying to connect like a light like this, actually this guy's may not work, even though it's a, it's a cheaper option. So um, kind of a disjointed uh, video here, so I apologize for that. Um, hopefully that gave you some ideas on how to splice this together. Again, my favorite is actually this black one here, just because it's simple. I didn't need to split the wires, pull it apart, and then twist these things in one by one and these are expensive even though this feels more solid um, i haven't actually had any issues with this um, in a commercial installation just to not have the the service car it probably is better to go with these guys or maybe even this guys okay um, because the clip on this guy i think eventually it'll wear out um, in a commercial situation i think at home you know if i were you and this is what I have in my own home too. Is I was just I, I got one of these guys, uh, and they work relatively well over the years that I've had them. But this this one definitely is very solid. And and if you read the reviews on Amazon, uh, it'll probably give you a little bit more insight into how these things are working. People do like them. They're expensive though. I, I, I'm not quite sure it's worth it in a commercial situation. Like I say, to prevent any kind of service calls, it might be better, right? Because you have multiple failure points on this guy. You got these nuts hanging here. This guy can fail, the nuts can pull off. This one is a single piece. It's screwed in, so it tends to be more secure than these uh, clip-ons. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. I'm gonna do a little, another video on these uh, lights, actually. These lights uh, have been uh, great. Um, they're brighter than then your standard lights from Home Depot uh, that you can get that runs on uh, 110. So we're very happy with this. Um, so I'll, I'll do another video on these lights. Uh, they tend to, they, they're waterproof with these uh, hermetically sealed um, connectors on both ends. Um, and it comes with the uh, AC to DC converter already, so it's um, ready to go. So when that's ready, I'll do another video on this and show you how bright this thing is. Uh, we're quite happy with it. So until then, have a wonderful summer. Enjoy your yard.